who's out there going mad, going crazy, trying to get their things they need to feed their family, man. All hell is breaking loose across the four corners of the earth, man. Uh, and that's all praise to the glory and honor to the Most High for that, man. Hey, you know what that means? That means we getting closer to the ceiling that night. Right. Hey, that means we all waking up, man. Right. We're all coming back to the Heavenly Father and doing His righteous Hey, work. give it that blanket, Oh, yeah. Right? All praise to the Most High. Right? We all coming back and doing the righteous work. You got my precept? Huh? Go ahead, get that, King. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 6. And verse 8. Right. Right. Also, I heard the voice of Yahweh saying, Whom shall I send? Hey, a lot of these men, women, and children, they're hearing the voice of the Heavenly Father, man. They're hearing the voice of Yahweh calling them out here, man. Hey, I seen a video on Instagram not too long ago of two little children preaching the word of the Most High. Hey, it's breaking it down the scriptures. Rightly, rightly dividing the words of truth, man. Man, hop to the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Then he had hurry up and went to the uh, book of Romans. Hey, he's doing the work, man. As a little kid, man. Hey, we got to be doing the same thing, man. And the Lord's going to count that unto him as righteousness, man. Right, read. And who will go forth? And who will go for us? Then said I, here I am. Send me. Hey, and we say, hey, here we are, Lord. Send us, man. That's all praise to the Heavenly Father, man. And he, he, he heard our cry. He heard our thirst for righteousness, man. Hey, we might have been in the world, but what? Our spirit was always with the Heavenly Father, man. Always on that one accord, man. The Lord knew who we was going to be and what we was going to become since the very beginning. Hey, he wrote it. He wrote it down for us, man. And what? It's all coming to pass, man. Right, read. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Right? And, and a lot of people, they see. They see us. They see us out here with the cameras, with the signs. Right, with the with the with the incense of the most high. Right, they see us, but they don't perceive it. They all don't understand what's fully going on in these last days. Right? Hey brother, you got a minute for the Bible? You ain't got a minute for the Bible? Alright. Right? Go ahead, read. Make the heart of this people fat. Right? right? And make their and make their ears heavy. Right? Hey, and it, it, their ears kind of become heavy in this thing. You tell them that America is going to fall. You tell them that you got to repent for your wicked ways. You tell them you got to turn back to the Lord. And their ears kind of become heavy, right? Those pain, our words kind of become grievous to them, man. It, it drags them out. It kills their vibe, man. Right? And so, you know what I'm saying? And shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes. Right? And hear with their ears, and understand with their heart. Hey, I say to say, but the most I want to get down with some of you Jakes. Hey, the most out, he wants to get down with some of you eat. He really wants to get down with these nations, man. So he's going to do what? Shut your ears and shut your eyes, man. Right? The nations, they, they'll sit here, they'll cuss us out. Hey, call us all out their names. Right? But they don't know that we are the men of the Lord. Right? And the Lord's going to get up with them today, man. Hey, the Lord might send a thing new, especially for you, man. Hey, the Lord, when he give us back the kingdom, hey, he might give you my personal slave, man. And I'm not going to lie to you. Right? Hey, treat people how you wish to be treated. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna treat you exactly how you treated me, man. Hey, you call me out my name, and I'm calling you out your name, man. Hey, matter of fact, you ain't got no name. You number one. You better come here, number one. Not even that. You can't even be number one. You number 10. Hey, number 10, you bring your behind over here, man. Right? The same way, the same way they, they stress us, they kill us with these policies. Hey, we're gonna do it in righteousness, man. Right? We're gonna do everything all according to the Most High's will, man. Right? Read. And convert and be healed. Then said I, Lo, how long? And he answered. Hey, brother, you got a moment for the Bible? You got a moment for the Bible? So, the Bible is 10 times back to fall. So, is that a yes or a no? All right, go ahead. Then he said, I, Yahweh, how long? And he answered. Until the cities be wasted without inhabitants. Until what? Until, Until the, the cities be wasted, wasted without inhabitants. Hey, hey, and we're still here, man. And if you look around, the cities aren't wasted yet, man. So what? We got to come out here even more now. Now we got to find out, work around our schedules, find out how many days during the week can we come, man. Hey, wow. we're here Fridays and Saturdays, but what? I can make a video on Tuesday. Hey, I can, I can give counsel on Wednesday. Hey, hey, I can talk to my brother at my job. Then Monday and uh, Friday, man. Hey, we're planning everything we do, uh, everything we can do to bring our people back into this truth, man. Hey, that's how you know you really want to get out of this place, man. Don't they, don't they say that uh, that phrase in the world, hey, actions speak louder than words, right? So your actions is more, is more important, man. 
right? Give me James chapter two and verse uh, twenty-two, right? Your actions, your 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 works are more important, just as important as your actions, man. Hey, your works are just as more important, just as important as your faith, man. If you ain't got no faith, what's the point, man? If you got no works, what's the point? If you're a brother and you have nothing but faith but no works, hey, the Lord's not gonna see you perfect in that day, man. No, oh, I believe in the Most High God. But I'm not keeping under the commandments. I'm still eating pork. I'm not wearing my fringes. I'm over here basically. Hey, the Lord gonna put you to death, right? It says Romans 9 and verse 13 that the heroes of the world gonna be justified, but the doers. Keep that shit, Romans chapter 2. So, like, Romans chapter 2 and verse 13. Keep that shit. Come on. Romans. Oh, Romans. Romans. That'll be good. Romans 2 and 13. Y'all got a moment for the Bible? For the Bible? Y'all got a moment for the Bible? Okay, come on. Come right here then. What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Good. That's good. That's good. Okay, he popping wheelies and stuff. All right. All right. Hey, so uh, what's your ethnicity? Your ethnicity, you know, mommy asked. You know? What do you mean? Okay. So what is your race? Mexican. What about you? Mexican. What about him? Mexican. All right. So I'm about to drop some knowledge on y'all here, okay? Right. I know y'all never heard this before, but I'm gonna tell you, right? According to the Bible, right? Can you find Mexican in there? Where, where can you find Mexican in the Bible? Here, hand him a Bible. I got $100. If you can find the word Mexican in the Bible, I'll give it to you. I cash at it. I save you some time, young brother. It's not in there. It's not in there. <laughs> Mexican is not in there, right? Black is not in there. Well, uh, so-called American black is not in there. Right? Puerto Rican is not in there, right? God has 18 nations of people. Mexican is not one of them. Right? But guess what? The so-called Mexican people, hey, they come from a man in, in the Bible. Did you know that? Right? I'm going to show you. Right? Give me Deuteronomy uh, 28, verse uh, 15. Give me Deuteronomy 29. Right? I'm going to let you know something. Right? The so-called black Hispanic, the so-called black Hispanic Native American, where God shows the people. Y'all got to go? Yeah. All right. Y'all got, you got a flyer for him, King? Let me give y'all a flyer. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Alright, perfect. Alright. Alright, so look, King, on that, we got our YouTube channel. You just scan the barcode, okay? Go ahead, fold that up, put it in your pocket. You be safe out here tonight, alright? Don't be don't be too reckless on that thing. Watch the cars. Yeah, yeah, watch the cars, man. Alright? He went straight ahead. Go ahead. Right? So, hey, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be doing the work of the Lord in these last days, man. Right? We ain't supposed to be riding bikes, right? We're not supposed to be going to your latest club, trying to figure out a woman you can pop, right? Trying to figure out how to get the next, uh, the next thing, bag of weed. You know what I'm saying? We gotta be doing the righteous works, man. Right? Okay, not, it's not, it's not the spirit, right? But the do. Go ahead and get that. Romans 2, 13. Yes, sir. It's the book of Romans, chapter 2, and verse 13. No. Oh. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. Uh, for not the hearers of the law are just before Yahweh, but the doers of the law shall be justified. But the, but the, the doers, doers of the, of the law, law shall be justified. Yeah, doers of the law that you remember is going to be justified, man. And that's a very important thing. Okay, they teach you what? That all the law, statutes, commandments are done away with. That's not according to the Bible. Hey, that's according to your own man's heart. That's all vanity, man. That's lies, man. That's, that's a blasphemy, honestly. Right? Get that, King. Give me just, let me see what the Lord said in the book of James. Book of James chapter 2 and verse 22. Bring it out. Seest thou have faith wrought with his works. Right. And by works was faith made perfect. Wait, hold on. How did your faith made perfect? And by wow. works was faith, faith made, made perfect. perfect. Hey, so you gotta have works in this thing. You gotta have the works for your faith to be made perfect. The Lord don't care that you just believe it. You want you want to see the proof, man. Right. Hey brother, you got a moment for the Bible? You got a moment for the Bible? It's on uh, five minutes. Two. Two minutes. Come on, come on, man. All praise the most high. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, come on, let's get that. How you doing? I see you out here cold, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make it quick for y'all, man. What's your nationality? Mexican? What about you? Okay, all praise the most high. Right? You know, you know about the Bible? Y'all believe in the Bible? Uh, I respect the Bible. You respect the Bible. So you don't believe in it, you want to Be honest. Okay, okay, what about you? I believe in some aspects of it. Yeah, you believe in some aspects of it? All right, I'm about to show you something that they're not going to show you, right? And I'm going to do it kind of quick because I know y'all kind of cold, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28. So the 
Mosai, right, in the Bible, he made 18 nations of people, right? Do you think Mexican was one of them? Do you see, do you see the word Mexican in the Bible? Nah, nah, nah. What about Hispanic? No. What about Puerto Rican? No. What about, what about, what about African American? That gotta be. That's man made. So we gotta find out what the cause is there, right? Right? Because the Lord, He has a certain group of people. Look at that in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Right? The Lord Son has a special group of people that's special in the name of the name of three and one. Right? And I'm about to show you that. Right? Contrary to what churches believe in, God does not love everybody. He doesn't care for everybody. He doesn't even hear everybody. And I'm about to prove that with the scriptures. Right? Go ahead, get that. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 7, and verse 6. Watch this. And it reads. For thou art in holy people right. unto the Lord thy God. Right. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He did what? Hath chosen, chosen thee. Hey, so the God, he looked at a whole, he looked at the earth and he chose something for himself. And I found out what this thing is. To be a special people. To be a what? To, to be, be a, a special, special people. Oh, so the Lord looked at all these nations like, you know what? I want these people right here to be a special people. Right, read. Unto himself. Unto himself. Right, read. Above all people. Above what? Above, above all people. He said these people are above all people, man. Oh, that's important, huh? I bet y'all never heard that before, right? Read. That are upon the face of the earth. That's upon the whole earth, right? Read. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you. Uh-huh. Because you were more in number than any people. Right. For you were the fewest of all people. Hey, so these people, they wasn't great, right? These people were sweet. Very few people, but what? The Lord still has compassion, mercy, and love for you, right? Read. So because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he sworn unto your father. Hey, so the Lord, he chose us because what? He made, he, he loved us and he made an oath with our father. Who's our fathers? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? That's what the covenant goes to. I'm about to show y'all that y'all will be a part of those people. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Hey, we're all one people. But they don't teach you that in church. They teach you that we're all enemies. Right? That's why we grow up hating each other. That's why we call them what? Wanting to fight each other. Right? But it's really us that's going through things in the Bible. Right? I'm about to show you something. Yeah, give me that. It's the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord had spoken against you. Right. O children of Israel. Oh, who? O children of Israel. Hey, that's who we are. The Lord called us the children of Israel. We're Israelites. Right. All praises. Right, read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. You only have I known. No, he knows everybody. You, you only, only have, have I known. Well, he only knows one people, the Israelites. Of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will punish you for all of your ignorance. Hey, and who's feel like they're getting the ass yeah. part of my friend? Who's out here being beaten on right by the cops? Right? Being slapped with policies, fees, and fines by the government. Right? Who, who's over here, right? Being tortured, man. Right? Getting tossed into jail. For the littlest thing. That's us. That's our people. Hey, how come every time a police pulls up by the week, trying to get our seat close together, kind of tense up, or let's do what we did? It's us. We're the only ones going through things. The so called white man, when he see the police, he's hey, how you doing, sir? You know, they had that good little conversation. Same thing with hey, hey, same thing with the Chinese man. The Chinese man don't have no problems. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Hey, I just seen a video today of the Chinese people. They calling a man, a black man, a nigga. And they told him what? Get her out of China. What? what do you mean, man? Isn't there Asian hate going on? That's how you know that stuff is fake, man. Right? They want you to feel sorry for people that don't care about you. They don't care about us, right? It's only us that gotta care about each other, man. Right? The Lord said he's gonna punish his people, right? If, you, if your father said he's gonna punish you, wouldn't you wanna know what he's gonna do to you? So let's find out what the Lord did. Right? Because this is going to prove who we are. Go ahead, get that. Give me uh, 28, 46, 45. Yeah, come on. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Wow. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right? To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes. Now, hold up. The Lord said, hey, you got to do all his laws, statutes, and commandments. How many laws, statutes, and commandments is there? 10? No. There's 613. Yeah, you didn't know that, huh? But guess what? Guess how many laws are in America? Over 20,000, right? So hold up, the Lord said you only got to obey 613 laws, but the Lord said you got to obey 20,000? Which one you want to go for, right? The one that's been oppressed you for a multitude of years, or the one that the Lord set up for us for a week and Which one, which one? The Lord, he chose commandments especially for you, 
Which one you want to do? Be honest. The 600 things uh, isn't as more, you know, you got more wiggle room, you know what I'm saying? Right, so let's see something. Go ahead, get that. Right? But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right? To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The Lord said, All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The Lord said he's gonna punish us as a people. So how did he punish us? With curses. Right? You bet you never heard that. Before. But we gotta find out what these curses is. Were these curses just for that moment or was it forever? Let's figure it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and, over, and overtake thee right. till thou be destroyed. Right. Because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God right. to keep his commandments right. and his statutes which he command thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Hey, so the Lord says he's going to put these curses on you forever. And they're going to be a sign and a wonder. Right, so even today, right, you should be able to identify these people. That's what a sign is, right? If I ask you, well, what, what block are we on? You're just gonna say what? Travis and Preston. You got the two signs right there that's telling you where you at. Same thing with God's people. Right. God said he's gonna be able to identify his people by his sign. Talk about it. Well, let's see the signs. Go ahead, give me 16. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Hey, who's cursing the city? Cursing the slums, and the ghetto, cursed. Right, watching our brothers being strung out on hair, weed, drugs, right, a whole bunch of uh, cocaine, right? Oh, and who was cursing those fields? Working in those land, those plantations, right? Right, getting whipped, having their back beat. Uh, did you know they treated Hispanic people just like they treated us back in that time? Hey, we were hanging on those trees together, believe it or not. They didn't teach me that in my history class, right? They, they didn't even mention it, y'all, right? That's why our people can't believe that y'all went through the same torture as us. We're the same. That's why we go through the same thing, right? Every time you go to the hood, who you see there? Hispanics. We're the same people, right? Don't you know that phrase, birds of a feather, they flock together? Hey, we're the birds of a feather, right? Go ahead, give me that next one. John, and this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54. Right? And it reads, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother. And we used to have a, a, a kind eye to each other. Just like y'all stopped and talked to us, right? Back in some hood, y'all can't do that. We wouldn't be able to do that, right? We'll have a, we'll, we, we, we used to have love for each other. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? See how I met y'all with love? We bringing that back in these last days, right, Reed? His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Hey, the Lord said, one of these curses is now how we was able to talk to each other, now we can't. Now we got an evil eye towards each other, right? Now we hating each other. Right now we cursing at each other. Now we fighting each other. Right, read. And toward the wife of his boss. And to what? And toward the wife of his boss. And now, now only, not only am I going to be mad at you, and I'm gonna have a hateful eye towards you. I'm gonna have a hateful eye towards my woman. So I'm gonna make a whole bunch of songs calling her what? Bitches, slut, hoes, slut. I'm gonna whore out my women. Right, make her prostitutes. Put her on those corners. Right, right. And what else? Let's figure it out, man. Let me ask you something. Right. Did y'all grow up, uh, grow up in a single parent household? You did. What about you? Hey, I did too. And a multitude of these brothers did as well, right? But well, let's see something real quick. Hey, get that. And, to, and toward the remnant of his children. And to what? And toward, toward the, the remnant, remnant of his children. children. Hey, the Lord said the, the man's gonna have an evil eye towards his children, right? What? Which he shall leave. Which he shall what? Which, Which he, he shall, shall leave. leave. That sounds like single parent household right there, man. So the Lord said he's gonna put curses upon our people. Yeah. And he's gonna have us hate each other. He's gonna have a disrespect, uh, uh, leaving our children to be raised by their mother, right? We're gonna have an evil eye towards our, our women. Hey, that sounds like us, man, right? That sounds like us. It's our people going through these curses, right? And I'm gonna show you a master curse that you can't deny. No matter how much you wanna deny, no matter how much you hate it, you can't deny it. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah, 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 get that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse two. Now let me ask you something, right? When you said you, you don't really like that much, right? Did that was taken today? Uh, I was a Christian. You was a Christian before. So what are you now? Uh, Nothing really. What about you? You just chilling? <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Do you just do what you can? All right, well, I'm going to show you something. Have you ever read the Bible then? So what do you know about the children of Israel? Do you know what I know about Moses? That's what I want to talk about. Nothing. Well, 
What did, what did Moses tell Pharaoh? He said what? Let my people... Uh, it's all right. He said, let my people go, right? If I had to walk up, let's say you and my brother, right? And I had to walk up to you and say, hey, let my let my brother go, let my brother go. What does that mean? Uh, that means you have him in your custody, right? That means you have him as what? A slave, right? He's in body, right? He's in jail, right? It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of God. Out of the house of God. Right? So the Lord said Egypt is another word for the house of bondage. Give me two little thousand blessings. Right? Egypt is another word for the house of bondage. Right? So the Lord said that whenever you hear the word, every, every, whenever you hear the word Egypt in the Bible, that means what? Bondage. That means slavery. Right? Did you know that our people are the people who build up the pyramid? Did y'all know that? We build up the obelisk too. And the Sphinx. That's why when you go to certain parts of Mexico, what you can find? Okay. Exactly, cause y'all, y'all ancient forefathers didn't build it. That's why they was able to re replicate it and do the same thing, right? I can even show y'all, y'all, y'all forefathers coming over here to America. Yeah, yeah. So I'm glad you. Look at that. That's the spirit, man. Hey, the Lord, the Lord, He even tell you this. Your forefathers. Yeah, yeah. I can show you in the Bible where it says y'all came over. Do it. You want to do it? Y'all want to do it? All right, go ahead, get to this. One of your favorite precepts, man. We all we all love our people over here, man. You got Judah 5 and 11? Uh, Go ahead, get that. Huh? Huh? Want first. Want you got it's the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse 11. Yeah. Therefore, the king of Egypt rose up against them uh -huh. and dealt subtly with them uh -huh. and brought them low with laboring in brick. Hey, that's something like what they do nowadays, huh? The so-called white man, they teach you, if, hey, if you want to make it in this society, you got to what? Get a degree. But what did that degree do? It put you in debt. So much debt that you're going to end up working yourself into the grave trying to get out. Right? Hey, that's cursed. And just like they did it back then, hey, they're doing it now, man. Right? They believe they give us hard labor and brick. Right? I hate to say it, man. Even though y'all my brothers, it's the truth. Right? I see a lot of my people, right? Right? Standing outside of Home Depot. And y'all work for cheap. That's, that's, that's a curse that the Lord put upon our people, man. Right? The Lord, he put curses upon my people as well. I can't even look at my brother why he wanted to kill me. Why he wanted to put a gun on me at the gas station. Right? So the Lord put curses upon all our people. Did you know that your true tribe, your true people, right? The Mexicans, they're really called Issachar. Right? They're really called Issachar. Right? And that's in the Hebrew tongue. And guess what Issachar means? He is high. Right? So the Lord hired y'all for a reason. And he named y'all, he is hired because what? Hey, y'all are amazing workers. Everything y'all build, everything y'all craft is beautiful. Why do you think they made you and our people, right, build up America? Yeah. Why do you think they always have us building up the, the rich neighborhoods? Right? Okay, we, we, we do it, man. Hey, we grow crops well. Why do you think they had us on those plantations? Because they couldn't do it themselves. When the so-called white man came here, he had to get help from who? The Indians. Because he couldn't even do it. Did you know that they was eating each other over there before before they had help from the Indians? They put us on slave ships. They had no cargo. What did they eat? They ate us. There's a whole book called the Delectable Negro, right? And it tells you different cooking ways of how they cook. That's crazy, huh? But that, that's all in the Bible, right? See, uh, see, this is the thing. Christianity, right? The pastor, they're gonna teach you lies, right? They're gonna lead you away. They're gonna, they want what? Your money. Right. We don't want your money. I don't give a damn about it, to be honest with you. I want you to come back into the Lord. I want you to repent. I want you to come back to the Lord and serve Him like we are. Right? You ain't got to be on the highways and byways with us. Right? But you getting your household in order. You praying to the Most High. Right? You serving the Lord. That's what I want for you. Right? I'm over here showing y'all love. That's according to the scriptures, man. If I love y'all, I'm not going to let y'all keep saying it. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all the truth, man. Right? So I'm not, I'm not finna spare y'all fit. Now here comes the tough part. And a lot of people don't like this part. They, they get scared of it, right? Right, because this, this is the time where I gotta correct y'all, right? But, so let me show you this master curse, and I'm gonna give y'all some commandments, is that okay? Right, go ahead, get that. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter 13, the verse 40. This is you coming oh. over here. This is in the Bible, right? This is y'all tribe coming over here. Y'all and 10 other tribes. The uh, Cubans, the Dominicans, the Haitians, the Native Americans, the Aztecs, the Mayans, Right, so y'all coming over here to this land, right? Get it. 
Those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osir. Right. The king whom Solomon Nazar, uh -huh. the king of Assyria, led away captive. So y'all forefathers actually went to captivity before our forefathers, right? And when y'all got out of that captivity, that's what y'all did, right? Read. And he carried them over the waters, and so they came into another land. Right. But they took this counsel among themselves. So y'all took counsel among yourselves. Like, hold up. We, we, we're being thrown into slavery, right, by these people who, who don't give a damn about us. We keep killing us, right? We're going into slavery. Right, read. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen. They're like, you know what? Fuck this. Forget my life. They're like, forget this. I want to go someplace else. I'm not finna let y'all throw me into captivity. Hey, if I know y'all finna come and put my little son in the, in the chains, I'm gonna run away with him. Right. I'm not finna let y'all do it. Right? I'm gonna get out of here. Right, read. And go forth into a further country where never mankind dwell. Where never mankind dwell. Hold up. Y'all found a land where no man dwell. What is that land? America, right? America, uh, North America, and the South. These are the lands that no, never met no man before. That's why it's saying in history, what? Christopher Columbus found a new land. He didn't find a new land, right? He didn't know about this land. But when he came over here, he came over here with a light. Not only that, he came over here with a Hebrew translator, right? Because we're Hebrews, we're Israelites, we're the Hebrew Israelites, right? That's why your forefathers, y'all wrote actually in Hebrew, the Aztecs. They wrote in Hebrew, so they're the Mayans, so they're the Columbians. Right? So they're my people. Right? We all wrote Hebrew, because what? We're all from the same people. Right? Me? That they might there keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. Right? So y'all left the multitude of the heathen. Y'all left Eastern, the Eastern Hemisphere, to come to the Western Hemisphere, so y'all can keep the commandments, so y'all can serve the Lord and us, and righteousness. Right? So hopefully, Lord willing, that spirit is still in you. And y'all going to want to do the same once you get this truth. Right? And this thing is very important in these last days. Right? Y'all hear how Russia is on the war, or, or is ready to go to war with Ukraine? You see how America wants to step in? You see how Joe Biden is trying to force poison, a uh, uh, jab upon you? Right? And he tells you what? Hey, if you don't get this, I'm not going to let you work. Oh, so now you telling me I can't feed my kids? Now you now you telling me I can't have a roof over my head? That I can't protect my family? Hey, that's what he's doing, man. Right? So we got to have some type of protection. And I hate to tell you this, my hands ain't gonna protect you. A gun ain't gonna protect you. There's only one thing that can protect us all, and that's who, the Heavenly Father. Right. Right, so we kinda gotta get back to him. We gotta figure out, you know, where he at. We kinda gotta run through these streets, you know what I'm saying, to find out, hey, know ye the Lord, know ye the Lord. Do you know where he at? What is his name, right? What does he want me to do? How can I get on this good stuff? Because the Lord said, what? He's gonna punish our people for not doing this, what? This law, statute, and commandments. Right? So let's kind of get this thing on the way. Right? Give me that master curse, man. Give me us. Uh, okay, so when we was in Egypt, we were slaves. Right? So let's see what the Lord said. Give me the book of the middle. Right? Huh? Yeah, I'm about to do it right now. Alright, wait. Let me finish with one verse real quick. Go. And they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow places of the river, for the most high did show signs for them held still the floods so uh -huh. they oh, so they were passed over. All right, now there's a lot on that river, right? Uh -huh. The Lord said he opened up the river Euphrates, right? That's over there in the Middle East. So y'all came through the Euphrates River, right? And y'all traveled from Euphrates around Africa to South America. That's a year and a half journey, right? Did you know it takes three years for you to go around the earth? So it was a, it, it was, it was a year and a half, because what? Y'all didn't go around it. Y'all only went halfway. Y'all went halfway. So y'all went from one side of the earth to the other, right? So the most high part of that name what? As a rock. That's the real name of this one, right? So everything is written in the Bible. I can even show you the so-called white man, right? White washing the Bible to put his forefathers in there. Because nobody looked like him. You telling me Christ was going to and fro in a hot land and had no melody? He, he for sure ain't had no sunblock. You know what I'm saying? He would have burned up. Hey, I hate to say this. Yeah, shit. I don't know what y'all doing over here. Shit. I almost got his ass knocked out. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It's all right. It's called the spirit of the most high, man. All right? With the words getting sown, the devil comes, man. Satan comes. Immediately. Right? So, like I said, man. Hey, hey. Y'all let the multitude of the people come serve the Lord. Right? So, let's see what y'all tried to do when y'all came to this land. 
right? First, let me get this curse, and then I'm gonna show y'all what y'all try to do when y'all can't move anymore, right? Get that. This is Deuteronomy 28, and verse 68. Now, what were we doing in Egypt? We were what? We were slaves, right? Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord said he's gonna bring us into Egypt again. He's gonna bring us into slavery again, right? How did we get over here? How did my forefathers get over here to this place? Let me ask you that. Did we drive a boat? Did we did, did we drive the boat that was over here? We rode the boat, right? Hey, did you know when Christopher Columbus came over here, he actually took y'all and put y'all in boat and sent y'all over there to multiple different lands in Spain? That's why you speak a broken version of Spain. Right? Did you know that so far? Like that's why we get each other some words and other things and stuff like that. You see that? You see that? Hey, the word con in 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 Spanish means what? Ocean, right? Right? But did you know in the Hebrew that means yes? So this this is this correlation between the languages, right? The word con in uh in the uh, Hebrew it means yes, but the word con in uh Spanish means ocean, am I right? Be honest. Ocean? Ocean, I think so. It means what? Ocean Okay, so what does con mean? Oh see look. I had an Instacart party, he told me that, man. So maybe I was wrong, you know what I'm saying? But it's still, the fact is still here. Right, so Chris would kill and come up as he came over here, he put y'all in change, and he took y'all to a foreign land. Right, right, let's get this, right? And he did it with what? Let's figure it out in the Bible. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. Hey, that's that's in the Bible. Us coming over here in ships, and y'all being brought into slavery in ships, it's in the Bible. Right. right, did y'all know that y'all can find Hispanic people over there in China? Hold up, what y'all doing in China? After World War One and World War Two, what? They shipped y'all over there, and they had y'all rebuild their city. And Japan, Japan looks beautiful. Why is that? Because our people are the ones that come. A, a lot of these nations, they, they profit off of our, our, our destruction, right? Now, I said that, okay, finish that verse. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Hey, by the way it happened, the Lord said it's going to happen. He said, what? You're never going to see your homeland again. Before you was in Mexico, where were you? Do you know? You, you wasn't in Egypt. I hate to tell you that, right? Before I came over here to America in the slave ship, where was I? We all came from the same land, which is the land of Jerusalem, right? We're Israelites. So we come from, you know, that land is named after Israel, right? We... Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Hey, and we were sold unto our enemies. Yeah, I was, I, my forefathers were definitely sold to my enemies. Hey, y'all forefathers was too. Y'all was sent to and fro, man. Hey, y'all kind of, I hate to tell you this, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all kind of still going through these curses. Like the Lord, there's a curse in the Bible that says, the Lord's going to have, he's going to separate you from your children. That's what they're doing at the point. They separate the men from the children, the women from the children. What? It's in one, one way, one to another. Hey, hey, and I'm not gonna, they're, they're not treating y'all good over there at the border. They got y'all with aluminum foil blankets, but that's gonna do something. They got just people on hard concrete. Those children go days, months even, without seeing their parents. And I, and I don't, I don't, I don't love this place, right? But I'm not, I'm, and I'm very wise to what's really going on. I hate to say, they're most likely, you know what I'm saying, abusing those children. They're probably poisoning their mind, abusing the children, right? Uh, 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 sex trafficking, right? Yeah, organ the organ trafficking. Like, like, out, uh, out, out, of, out of nowhere. And you're in a, in that enclosed space. How, yeah. Where can you go? You can't explain. It. You can't explain. It. Because they what? They're doing it on purpose, right? So there's a lot of stuff that's going on in there, right? Hey, read that. And you shall be sold unto your enemies for by men and by women and no man shall bite and we're still finding the land of our captivity right let me show you some of these curses that uh, some of these commandments that y'all try to keep when y'all came over to this land you want to see if y'all keep it now are y'all ready this is the tough part y'all ready all right get that it's the book of leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27 Look, you shall not round the corners of your head you shall what you, you shall, shall not, not round the corners, the corners of your head. head what do you think that means you shall not round the corners of your head you know michael jordan yeah what about Shaq? What about Pitbull? Charles Barkley? Yeah. What do they got in common? Uh, they're all mall. Hey, that's one of the commandments though. The Lord said you cannot round the corners of your head. So you can't, you can't, you can't shake your head and make it ball. Did you know that was a commandment? You did, huh? I know that. 
right? So that's one of the commands. Y'all try to come over here and keep it as land. But what? What happened, uh, uh, I want to say, around the 90s, man, right? They, they, they pushed that doctrine on y'all. And a lot of our Hispanic brothers, what? They shaved their heads, man. Right? They got tattoos on them, right? Right? The same thing for my people. Y'all see Michael Jordan, I just said it. Right? My people, we shave our heads for what? Basketball, right? Hey, Birdman got, what do you need tattoos on your head for? That's where your hair's supposed to go. Right? But that's besides the point. Wait, read Light and shut down mar the corners of thy beard. Now to show you what? Light and shut down mar the corners of thy beard. You know what the word mar means? Mar means to destroy. So the Lord said you can't destroy your beard. What does that mean? It means you have nothing to destroy. Do you know that was the thing? If you look around, all these mighty brothers have what? Beards upon their face. We are trying to serve the Lord in these last days. Right? So if the Lord said you got to grow a beard upon your face, right? But society, right, these jobs, they tell you, they don't want you to have a beard. They want you to be baby faced. Who are you going to listen to? Your job or the Lord? The Lord. What about you? Yeah, yeah. They, hey, they, they'll throw money at you to, do, to get you to do anything. Right? But the Lord said what? Hey, serve me. Love me. Do what I want you to do. And he wanted us to have a beard. Is, a, is growing a beard a hard thing? No, all you gotta do is sit there and let it grow, man. Try to put on some shade moisture on there, some coconut butter or whatever, right? And y'all good, man. <laughs> y'all good, man. So it's an easy thing. So let me ask you something. Do you love the Lord? Do you love the Lord? All right. Are you gonna, are you gonna grow your beards out and be honest? You'll try it out? Hey, you, what about you? Hey, hey, they all praise to the most high, man. And it don't matter, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie to you. You probably won't get a beard of mine. Get a like this, brother. Probably not like that, brother. You know what I'm saying? But whatever you can grow is all praise to the most high. Hey, when I was in high school, I used to have patches, man. Hey, I used to look like Patchy the Pirate. But what? Now I'm over here looking like James Hart and Rick Ross. <laughs> Every time people, oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that type of stuff, man. Right? So we gotta come back into the Lord. Right? So one of these commands y'all fall apart to try to keep is what? Growing your beard out, right? And not having a bald head. Right? Y'all kind of feel that, man, because it's my fault. But what? Now it's the time to turn back and keep it. Right? Let's get another one. Go ahead and get that.